Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Stellaris. We are growing somewhat? Sort of? Not really. We need to we need to colonize this planet. That's what we need to do. We need to colonize these planets. Do we have our colony ship? We do. I do remember building it. I guess I never really got to got around to uh colonizing anything. Let's just uh look at the uh no, not the planet sectors. Where is it? The uh no, not that. The expansion planner. Okay, so there are two planets that we can colonize. Uh, this one has a lot of food. And more minerals. It actually has more of pretty much everything. It doesn't have very much science, though. But it's better... It's better than this world? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I I'll colonize uh, Spiram. Spiram, where are you, Spiram? Oh, you're you're just right next door, aren't you? All right, let's colonize that planet. Uh, where do we put this? We can put it right here. It's not a bad spot. There's plenty of food on this planet, right? So, farms there, farms there, farm there. That's three farms. And we have level two, or tier two farms, so... Between the co the colony um, or administrative building and then the three farms, I think we'll have enough food with that alone. So all these other locations that only have one food but another resource will probably go to the other resource. I'm just thinking if there's a better s slot. Um... I think this is the best place. Spearum Prime. We are gonna have to build some, uh, get build get some tech to clear out those tile blockers, though. That's gonna be important. Is there a reason why I'm not building any, anything? Ah, eh, whatever. We got cruisers. We got so many cruisers. Look at all the cruisers we have. <laughs> Probably too many, too many cruisers, right? Too many. We are going to want to colonize that planet as well. Uh, fascinating. You are done doing whatever you were doing? Uh, looks like there's more for you to do, actually. Research that project. I think we can research this at the same time, can't we? It's just gonna take two months. Points of interest. Not worth my time. <coughs> what did we finish? Oh, did we just finish the, uh... The defenses? I guess so. Uh, how about we check all the surfaces just to make sure that everything is good. How, how are we doing on food? Three, that's fine. Um, four... I don't know if... I don't think I want to get rid of any of the farms here. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to see if I can get rid of any of the farms. How we get rid of this one? Replace that with something else. We don't have a visitor center here. Not really necessary. It increases hab. <clears throat> Let's try it again. It increases habitability, but the xenophobia not really a concern. It's all the same species. Alien migration attraction. There's nowhere to migrate. It doesn't really matter. Uh, so that's kind of not important. I think we'll just go for power plants. Unless, aha! What I thought already. It has minerals. Wait, didn't we do this once before? And we regretted it. Then we changed it. Hold on. I think the reason why I changed it back is because I wanted to change this one. But why would I want to do that? I don't think I want to. I, I Let's, um... Oh, 4.56. That's why. It actually decreases it to less than one food surplus. So let's not do that. That's why. Okay. 
I was like, I, I remember doing this at some point. Uh, we're not going to replace any of the farms. We're still growing this population, and you're already building stuff, so. Construction complete. Got more to construct. Plenty more to construct, really. This guy is pushing on the borders. He's got such a big... His naval capacity is on par. His technology is inferior. So if we really... If we needed to fight him, we could. We can't right now, though, because we have... We have our embassies with him. And I don't know how that will work out. I don't know if we're going to be able to attack this guy. Colony ship is slow. Hold on. Let's check our um, ship designers. Let's check our colony ships. Maybe we haven't upgraded them in a while. I guess so. Not that they necessarily need the upgrades. I just want to make sure they they move faster when necessary. I'd like to have like them to have decent defenses at the very least. Transport ships are a little different. They're actually warships in a sense that they have to be ready for combat. They might come under fire. Ah, I'm not going to worry about... Well, we could upgrade. I don't know. This doesn't upgrade them. Uh, to be able to... Hold on, we might be able to... That's 20 power. Nope, not going to be able to. I don't know if this upgrades the stations that we already have currently, uh, is the problem. Ooh, we could build, we could build a light station section that has point defense. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm not planning on building any stations anytime soon, or at least not right now. Uh, maybe if we go to war, especially with these guys, uh, that would be something to consider. But as of right now, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Construction complete. Okay. Let's clear this out, and then we'll just upgrade all of these. And we will make a bio lab sounds good construction complete research complete uh, uplift I still don't really understand uplift allows genetically uplifting and society socially integrating species which are close to being sentient is that like if you if you colonize a planet where there is like semi sentient life that you can uplift it and make it sentient? I I I'm not too I'm not too sure about this. Uh, it's usually a tech I don't really take uh, because of that. I'm thinking the living state would be good. That's what I'm leaning towards. Frontier hospitals. Can't we build frontier hospitals? Let's get frontier out hospitals just to have them. Just to have them. They're cheap. I'm not... Well, no. I Actually, I do really want this. I want the empire, empire leader capacity because we're about to colonize two other planets. And we're going to need two more governors. Right? So, it's going to be a necessity at this point. Yeah. So, we'll get that. Get that research. Construction complete. All right. Oh, you're done. Okay, so let's get this going. Uh, mining network. And we'll clear out... Um... 
Let's actually clear out science. I'd rather have science right now. So we got our colony going. It will take 13 months. Oh, we're going at normal speed. Let's speed that up. No wonder things so seem to be going so slow. Uh, oh, I'm not even in, in control. It's the Doki Doki Republic. Oh, wait, I am the Doki Doki Republic. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shit. Okay, uh, what's our uh, fleet look like? Uh, we can upgrade it? Let's upgrade it. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. You're kidding. Is there nothing I can do? Man, the Federation fleet sucks. It's hyperdrive. What is... Why do they always upgrade to this? Why can't they upgrade to the other thing? I'm so confused. So they all... They all changed their freaking... Whatevs. They're weaker now, look. This is a game. So we got planetary shields, that's nice. I really feel like the Federation fleet is just completely worthless. It's not, well, it's not completely worthless, but like changing it and like adapting it and making it like really customizing it is, is worthless, it's pointless. The Federation fleet is just going to do what it's going to do. It's extra power when you're when you're in charge, but when you're not in charge, you're just weaker. You're just a weaker member of a federation. And it's just I don't know. I don't know if I like it to be honest. I'm thinking getting plasma thrower just because of the the uh, uh, expertise bonus. Yeah, let's get it. 22 months. Okay. I feel like I should be going to war when I'm in charge of the Federation just because it is complete. it is when I'm at my strongest. Right? Special project complete. But at the same time, I don't wanna go there's not really anyone I wanna attack, and anyone I could attack is kinda strong and could uh, do serious damage to me, so I don't really want to. It's kind of kinda of my thinking. Uh, let's survey that system. Construction complete. Construction complete. Alright, let's check all these surfaces. I think they're all done for the most part. This place has a visitor center. Is it necessary? No, not really. I say we get rid of it. And replace it with a uh, planetary shield generator. There we go. Maybe we should start building planetary shield generators everywhere. I believe they consume lots of power. But... It might not be too bad. Um, it, the trick is finding a place to actually put it. If putting it right here and then replacing the power hub and putting it somewhere else wouldn't be a terrible idea. Oh, but we have nine food now. Holy crap. Hold on. Hold on. Did you get a special ability? No. Why, why is food, like, so much better? Did we recently get some bonus? I'm confused. Oh! Pitharan dust. Is there dust on the planet? Or we just have some? Oh, we just have some. Okay. So that adds plus 20% on everywhere? Let's just check everywhere. Everywhere. Wow. Okay, cool. Where is that dust? I must know. Right here. Ooh. Energy dense fine dust serves as an excellent fertilizer. Um, well, that's great. I might be able to clear out some of these farms then. And replace them with planetary 
uh, shield generators, because why not? Nah, it's kind of dumb. <laughs> it's kind of dumb, but at the same time, it would be fun, because I've never really had all of my planets covered as a shield generator. Look how happy everyone is. Look at this, 98%. Holy crap. That is so happy. So happy. I've never played a game where planetary shield generators was a thing I had to worry about. Like, I've never had anyone... Uh... Like, what, what? they just make it so it takes longer to bombard a planet. That's what it does. It makes it so if a, a fleet is coming to uh, blockade and bombard your planet, it just takes longer. Um, which is good in the sense that that would allow me time to go get my fleet and send them over there. <sighs> but I don't know if it's going to have that much effect, to be honest. I've just never needed them, is the thing. I think I'm gonna pass on that. I'm just gonna get more energy credits. More energy credits. More energy credits. Cause why not? Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I take that back. Cancel. You should actually be minerals, cause it looks like there's minerals there. Okay, good. Mining network. Uh, how are we doing on food heating? This system yeah minerals okay good uh no we we'll just want to build that okay there we go get that started I'm building a mining network. Should we build? Now we should, we should we should build the mining network. There's already a mineral processing plant right there. Yeah, mineral processing plant. Okay, we're good. Oh, I need to keep up with my construction ships a little bit more. It's done. Construction complete. System survey complete. Oh, there. Okay. Then we'll go there. All right. Good. Adaptable. Awesome. Oh, we had a scientist die. Oh no, our scientist that was working the science ship died. This is no good. Uh, ooh. Ooh. I like. What's that one? Custom AI assistance. That's a new one. I don't remember ever seeing, ever seeing that trait before. We want that one though, because this is going in our science ship. And our science ship is about to explore strange new worlds. Um Okay. Construction complete. Good. Construction complete. Our 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 coordinator died, our leader. Which means we need to hold another election. Um happiness not really necessary. Everyone seems really happy already. Edict cost and edict duration. Uh and research speed. I like research speed. Military station yeah, I like this guy more. And we have the points, so we might as well spend it, right? How old are you, actually? Is there a good way? There should be a good way to see how old these guys are. I mean, we could just find them on, like, Malungord and Tarush. I believe they're probably, uh... There's Malungord. He's 84. And Tarush is 82, so they're really close.
Well, shoot. I think we go with Belungord. And we'll elect, we'll spend the 200 to elect it. All right. So that should increase our, our, our speed at which we research. Not by much, though, apparently, because this used to be 22 months, and now it's 26. I wonder why that is. Uh, it does mean we need a new uh, governor. Oh, wait, wait, right, okay. Where, where's the leaders? There we go. Because we only have five now. We'll need a sixth. So let's hire this guy who will clear blockers. I feel like putting him in charge of this one, actually. But who who would be put in charge of of the capital? How about nobody? Just for a little while. Just for a little while. Until we get our new tech. In like four years. Alright then. This is going to be done next month. There we go. Okay. I want you here because I want you to be clearing out those blockers. Um, that just seems like a good good call. Uh, should we clear them out now? I mean, we really don't. It doesn't really matter that much. Clear. Uh, now that that now that this has no governor, how are we doing on food? Okay, so we're, we're okay on food. Even though we got rid of that one farm. How many farms do we have on this planet now? Just the one? And we have the Paradise Dome. Plus the administrative building, obviously. Yeah, just being able to reduce the number of farms you have is just great. Pretty much still need all of our, our farms. We could get rid of this one. Replace it with something else, I suppose. Let's wait on that, though. Everyone's building something. Uh, we should actually take this um, and build a spaceport, though. Uh, build missiles. Why not? I don't care. I don't. I don't give no no craps. I don't crap crap nowhere. I don't even know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Build a research station there. Okay. So who do we find that doesn't like us? These guys. These guys close their borders. They don't want us knowing what they know. Okay then, that's fine. Are they in defensive packs with one another? They are. These xenophobes. Oh wait, you're what are you? They are nobody. They are nothing. They have no ideologies. They have no they are they are completely neutral in every way. These guys are already in the Federation, right? Yeah, they are. We'll have to break their Federation. These guys are in a defensive pack with an unidentified uh, civilization. These guys are the stagnant ascendancy. We will ignore them for now. Um, what's this? Trade deal expired. Oh, we need to reaffirm our, our trade deals. We need to get research agreements going. <coughs> uh, we also need, I think we have, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I think it might be a good time to end the episode. So, if you enjoyed the episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.